Hello everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Fighter Red episode 44 I believe in the last episode we arrived here at Island 5. Five islands. Island 4. Five. Uh, we completed everything we could do at Island 6 including attempting to get the Sapphire which was then given to a man named Gideon who took it and is bringing it here to Five Island. It's been getting busier around these parts lately. I haven't been catching many good Pokemon, uh, many, many good fish, many good fish uh, lately either. So we did not explore this island last time uh, in the last episode. So it looks like they put a weird building up in the middle of the meadow. Uh, that is going to be interesting because that building is the rocket warehouse that we need to go. Don't worry about buying anything for dinner. Oh, that's, nope, that's just me. That's just me. All right. Uh, sometimes I accidentally hit that speed up button because I'm used to it. All right. So there's no items that we can find here, but we can go into the Pokemon Center, make sure our Pokemon are healthy, and we can go ahead and talk to this guy. I'm on my way to prepare a meal for a certain high society person. Well, la -ti da You're on a quest to catch every single kind of Pokemon? How incredible. Please tell me if you catch a strong one. We've caught a lot of strong ones, girl. A lot of strong ones. All right. So we can then go into this house. There is only one Pokemon that we can actually find on the meadow. So that's actually pretty interesting. Uh, and that Pokemon is going to be Hoppip. So let's look at Hoppip right now. So Hoppip is a little strange. It's a grass flying type, one of the first grass flying type to be introduced to Pokemon, which is a very interesting typing, don't get me wrong, but its stats don't really help it out. Now it does have the ability Chlorophyll, when Sunny Day is active, its speed is doubled, but it already has incredibly high speed. This Pokemon really isn't good for battle. The only thing that I would suggest, and something that made this Pokemon really annoying, competitively is because of its speed that means that it can do things like encore and leech seed and substitute and uh, stuff like that sleep powder for instance it could do those things very very quickly and put them out and it was just it's kind of an annoyance Pokemon and not necessarily like a like a battle Pokemon um, you could use it to great effect I've seen Hoppip and, and its evolutions used to great effect uh, its evolutions are not available in this game unless you catch a Hoppip and evolve it so that is something else that is worth mentioning uh, it's also the lightest grass and flying type Pokemon ever, so that's that's pretty cool. All right, cool So let's continue Hopip is just it's so cute. It's so cute, but so bad All right, let's continue We are going to head into the five aisle meadow now right here. We could cut this I'm gonna do that off screen though. That's a max potion the item that's hit, sitting there it's a max potion. So we're going to go ahead and go this way. Uh, now, it is worth mentioning that you can't use Surf here, but you can use Surf on the other parts of the island. And in fact, we need to, to lead to the other parts of the island that are equally as important as what we're about to do. So we're going to go ahead and take out this Rocket Grunt. He's going to send out a Rattata. We are going to hit it with Bite and kill it. Uh, and he's going to send out a Grimer. I didn't mean to use Bite, but Bite works. Uh, and then we are going to use an Ice Beam on this Muck, even though it's not that big of a deal. And unfortunately, we were poisoned, so we're just going to go ahead, go to our bag, and use a full restore on our big, our big bad boy. Our big bad Poseidon. Uh, nope, didn't mean to do that. Holy crap, Cory, you suck. And we are actually going to switch to Luna now, because, uh, you know what? Let's switch to Bruce. I'm going to have Bruce out because he's our lowest level Pokemon, and I, I, I would like to see Bruce be a little better. On our team so uh, there's a tree there that we could cut down for whatever reason um, and I'm not gonna use a, a max repel because I don't th really think we'll need to because we're obviously right here here's another Pokemon train uh, another Pokemon trainer another team rocket member that we can take down she has three Pokemon in Ekans which we are going to hit with brick break obviously we don't do that much damage against um, poison types but we can still you know hit it with double edge uh, which will potentially take it out a uh, double edge should take it there we go uh, that recoil damage is not going to help um, I shouldn't be using our, ah, oh, damn it. I was going to say, I shouldn't be using our dear old Hitmonlee for this. Um, I should have been using Luna because we are going to be fighting so many poison types that it makes sense to have Luna out there. Um, and I'm just going to switch Luna. We, there will be other opportunities to use Hitmonlee. I do have to say that Hitmonlee now is probably one of the least, he's still useful, but he's probably the least useful Pokemon that we have on our team, which makes me very sad because he's very good. Like Hitmonlee is a wonderful Pokemon. You'll, you will notice too that there is areas that we can surf. Um, oops, didn't mean to do that. But it's a Persian uh, who is not going to let us escape. All right, fine, you don't want to let us escape? Let us straight up kill you, Persian. Jesus. They used Payday, uh, not that that matters for us. We can't get through here, um, but there are areas that we can go to. If we go here, we will find ourselves, uh, where did that say? Am I crazy? 
the memorial pillar. We're not going to worry about that right now. We'll take care of that after we do the rocket, the rocket uh, warehouse. I keep wanting to say hideout, but it's not the hideout. The uh, coughing, we'll go ahead and use psychic. That'll take it out in one hit. And a wheezing uh, should also take a wheezing out in one hit because our clefable is actually just really good now. Psychic is a wonderful ability. We entered the two passwords. Goldeen need log and yes not, Chansey. Uh, and we will be able to... What are those called? I still haven't found out. It's already open, so let's go inside into the Rocket Warehouse. This is the final time we will ever battle Rocket. Team Rocket is right now. Uh, so we'll go ahead and use this because it's the only thing we can do. Uh, and I think if I'm not mistaken, we want to use... We can't go anywhere else. I, I don't remember if we want to use this one. Yeah. So there is a hidden item there that we aren't going to worry about right now. Uh, we are actually going to... We're going to go up here. Do this first. Now, if we talk to this cage, or look at this cage, there are many Pokemon locked away in the pen. So we found where the Pokemon are. And we will get an upgrade. An upgrade is an item that we can give to Porygon, which when we trade, it will evolve into Porygon 2. Oh, you wanted to battle. So we are going to face this Grunt here, who has a Houndour. Uh, we're not going to use uh, Psychic, because it won't actually do anything. Uh, and we will be able to take out both of those Houndours and hit level 57, and we will be able to destroy this Rocket Grunt. Now, there's no items here, but we can keep checking these pens, and we'll see that there are lots of Pokemon hidden in them, which is sad. Uh, and that's not what I wanted to do, uh, but that's okay, actually, because it will lead us to this item that we can get right here, which is a wonderful, wonderful pearl. Pearl? That's it. That's all it is. Uh, and then, of course, we'll do this again, which will lead us up here, and we could kind of continue. Now, uh, most, so many of you probably love the, the tiles, probably think it's the best part of the game, if I'm not entirely mistaken. Uh, so, we'll go ahead and get over here, and we will go ahead and take on this last grunt here. Did you come here knowing, not last grunt, but, you know, uh, we'll go ahead and use Psychic, take down that Machop, and he's going to send out another Machop, we'll be able to take it down one hit, and a Machoke, which will be able to destroy that Machoke. Interesting, uh, we need to actually use this right here, which will bring us down to here, and then from here, um, we can find a netball right there. I think that's the only, yep, okay, good. I was gonna say, I think that's the only thing we can find there. Uh, we could use this, which will lead us just right back to the beginning, which, you know, doesn't really help us, but, uh, oh wait, shit, it did. Ah, guys, I screwed up. I screwed up hard. Let me go do, let me do that again so I can show you this item. Uh, I apologize that I suck at this game. Um, I still love you guys, even if you don't love me anymore, uh, because I've, I'm so bad. Okay, and then we want to step on here, and then we can come and get this item. Which is a big pearl. So we got a pearl, and then we got big pearl. So, we're looking good. We're looking good. Uh, obviously, there's nothing here that we can do, uh, so we need to do this all again. I'll, I'll, I'll make it go real fast. I'll make it go real fast. We'll, we'll go zoom zoom. Um, and then, we want to use this one again, which will lead us over here. And then if I'm not entirely mistaken, we want to use... Which one is it? I'm s I am super stupid. I'm super stupid. So- Ah! I used the wrong one! I used the wrong one. Uh, so this is actually a super easy- A super easy puzzle that I just overlooked, uh, one of the things. So let me just show real quick how to do this. So you come in here, use this one. This will bring us all the way down over here. And then we will go ahead, walk over here, and then we want to go into this one, right here. Uh, if I'm not entirely mistaken, right? which will lead us down to this, and then we literally just skip, don't touch any of these things, uh, and we will be able to just walk right around. So you just have to be careful not to hit anything. I don't know how I missed that. I don't know if I'm just really stupid or what, uh, but right up here we will find a TM36 Sludge Bomb. Sludge Bomb is a wonderful poison attack move and probably is going to be a move that Topher needs to be using because it's actually very, very, very good. Uh, so right here we will go ahead and use this, which will put us right here. You could use either one of those, and you'll be put in the same spot. And we will go ahead and face this Team Rocket member. I got words from you from the others. You ain't you ain't no boss Gi Giovanni. Whatever. Uh, we'll go ahead and use Strength on him. I'm hoping that we'll be able to take out that Hypno, no problem. And we'll go ahead and do it again. Uh, and one hit, shot, one kill. We were able to take him out. And then, obviously, the only place that we have left to go is right here. We will go ahead and face this last trainer right. I don't know or care if what I'm doing is right or wrong. I just put my faith in Giovanni and do as I am told. Hmm. 
Hello, United States of America. All right, so <laughs> Team Rocket Admin would like to battle with Muck. Uh, obviously, our best bet here is just to use Psychic. Uh, two hits and we will be able to take down Psychic. Uh, down Muck with Psychic. Level 58, oh, beautiful. And we will go ahead and use Toxic yet again. And uh, let's also use Soft Boil because I actually was not expecting a Hyper Potion to come out of the Admin, but that's okay. Uh, we are out of that, so let's go ahead and use Strength. She'll take it down, and we are going to change Pokemon. Uh, I actually didn't see what was coming out, so I'm just going to switch to Bahamut because... Oh, perfect! And Blast Burn will take down her Viola Plume. So we took down a Team Rocket Admin. Uh, I don't think we've fought any Admin so far. I, I'm shattered. And we will get 1,728 Poke Dollars for winning. You're doing things according to your beliefs and morals. I understand now. I've made it so you can come back in through here, but why don't you go get rested and refreshed for what lies ahead? The admin after me outranks me thoroughly as a trainer. You'd better steal yourself for one harsh battle. So we're going to go ahead and uh, resurrect some of our Pokemon. All right, let's continue. There's no items in here. There looks like there's a guy right here. That's quite enough of you playing the hero, kid. Spreading lies about how Team Ban uh, Team Rocket has been disbanded. It's such an obvious attempt to cause confusion on our ranks. Fortunately, we're not so ignorant to fall for the lies of a child. And now, I'll show you how scary an angry adult can be. We aren't spreading lies. Giovanni literally said that he was done with Team Rocket. Unfortunately, I forgot that we uh, do not have our um, PP for Psychic. So that's going to be unfortunate for us. And Luna's going to be poisoned. We are going to switch out, of course, to Chu. Who's going to be able to come out here with a Weezing, be able to use that Thunderbolt, get about half damage done, and Chu's going to hit level 59, which is wonderful. Uh, we are going to switch yet again to Poseidon here, uh, who's going to also hit level 59 when it destroys this Houndoom, who is a Dark Fire type. We'll hit level 59, which is wonderful. Ugh, you are too strong. That, that's Giovanni's badge. So it's true, Team Rocket really has disbanded. Yeah. We will abandon this warehouse. But don't think this is over. I won't let this be the end. I will find Giovanni, and I will resurrect Team Rocket. I will. Until then, farewell. A report with graphs and text is on the PC monitor. The influence of magnetic waves on Pokemon evolution. It's too difficult to understand. Huh. What does this say? We're going to just go ahead and switch out Luna, or use a full restore on Luna. Okay, well, that's interesting. Magnetic waves forcing evolution. There is an item right here. That guy's actually standing right near it. Uh, lights in different colors are flashing on and off. Lights in different colors, so nothing there. We'll get a nest ball by using uh, by clicking on that box. That was the item, by the way. Right here, let's look at this computer. It's all complicated words and numbers that make no sense. Okay. Interesting. Let's go ahead and fight this man. I almost managed to sell the Sapphire for huge money. Then you just had to come along and blow the whole deer apart. This is Gideon. This is the guy that took the Sapphire from us when we found it. So let's pay him back in spades. He has five Pokemon. Uh, he's going to start with a Voltorb, which is the fastest Pokemon in the game. And this uh, Electrode, which we will be able to take out as well. And a Magnemite, which isn't as fun to fight, but we'll go ahead and use Psychic anyways to take it down. I did use an Elixir. Level 43. We are going to switch to Bruce now, uh, because Bruce is obviously our weakest Pokemon. And we will take down uh, that Pokemon as well. And now we will use Brick Break and take down that Porygon. And there we go. We defeated. Gideon. Uh, God darn darn. That is the only way you will see Porygon in your in your uh, Pokedex if you don't buy it from the Celadon City. And we will get 4,416 Poke Dollars for that fight. If I can't sell it, it's worthless. Go ahead and take it. We got the Sapphire. We'll go ahead, put the Sapphire in our key pocket. What do you want now? Go on, get lost. Leave me be. Now, if I'm not mistaken, these computers actually have important stuff. No? I could have sworn we would get interesting information out of one of the computers that were located in this building. But maybe I'm totally wrong. That's a very common thing for me to be wrong. Alright, that's it! We did everything we could do here in the Rocket Hideout. There is more that we can do in this game and in this, uh, in this area. So, let's go ahead and check out something else. Alright, so we're going to head this way. We're going to use Surf, and we're going to go right over here to the Memorial Pillar that we saw before. Now, I'm going to switch Chew out, because I'm pretty sure that this guy that's sitting right here is a, uh, probably a flying trainer? Uh, yep, he sure is. Okay, so he's going to have a, he's going to start with a, pi a Pidgey. Okay, and a Pidgeotto. So we're going to take those out, no problemo, and finish that fight. Now, there is an item right here, uh, which is a Raspberry. I love, I love the Raspberries. They're the best. 
So this is Memorial Pillar. Uh, now there are no new Pokemon that you can find here at Memorial Pillar, uh, except for Hoppip if you don't already have one. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and catch it because why not? Uh, and it was added to our Pokedex. Its body is so light, 1.1 pounds. It must grip the ground firmly with its feet to keep from being blown away. Uh, we will not give a nickname to uh, Hop Hopip, um, but it's worth mentioning that this is where you can get one. You can get one by surfing as well because they're so light they just kinda uh, are able to glide over the water. And a Fero! Oh my god. But we'll be able to take them down no problem because we're just so strong. And right here is another berry, uh, which is a citrus berry. Again, citrus berry is so worth getting. Um, and there's another item right here. Oh my god. It's another Hoppip. Uh, we'll go ahead and get a Blockberry. Um, we haven't seen much Blockberries at all, actually. Alright, and we can go ahead and fight this guy. I'm the youngest of the bird. So we fought all of the bird people here, and he will have Hoot Hoot. Hoot Hoot is a Gen 2 Pokemon. It's basically the Pidgeot equivalent uh, and a Knocked a knock Owl knocked owl as well. All right, so south of us, right where we are, is more that we can find. So we could go up here and see what's, what's going on. I'm actually going to use a Max Repel uh, so I can show you guys a little bit easier. Oh my god, I have so many items, I don't even know what to do here. Okay, so this just leads to nothing, uh, but worth mentioning that this leads to the real Memorial Pillar. So that... That everything else was kind of just a path to get here. This is the real memorial pillar. So we can go ahead and grab this item real quick. More importantly, before we grab that item, let's go ahead and talk to this guy. Scrub Scrub. Hello. Your po Pokemon look healthy. This is where I buried my Onyx. It was named Tectonix. And right here, you will find a metal coat. An item that's used to to evolve Onyx into a Steelix, which I assume was this man's plan. But then his Onyx died, and he created a pillar out of Onyx's tail. I don't know if that part's true, but his Onyx did die, and it is very interesting that it looks like he actually discarded his uh, his metal coat right then and there. Which is really sad. Which is really sad. Now, uh, something that's super important is if you come over here, here lies Tectonics. There is a lemonade placed as an offering in front of the grave. Now, if we actually go into our bag, if we had a lemonade, which I don't believe we do, uh, which is really unfortunate, do we have one? All right, we're back. There's a lemonade placed. Would you like to leave another lemonade as an offering? Yeah. Th thank you. That was my Tectonics' favorite drink. I don't even know you, but your act of kindness, it's uplifted me a little. Can you please take this as my thanks? And we will get TM42. Again, that's TM Facade. Uh, it can be useful. It might as well just add it. It is a normal type of a normal type thing now. Um, I'm, I would say it would be better in like Gen 4, for instance, when you could give it to a, um, uh, a Clefairy that also has Flame Orb who won't take any damage, and then can use Facade and do an incredible amount of damage with that. Um, just worth mentioning. Alright, so that's everything that we can do here on this side of Five Island, but if we go back, if we go back to, uh, the actual, like, center here, there will be a whole other area that we can surf on right over here. So, in this, in the next episode, we are going to complete everything that we can do on Five and Seven Islands. And we are very, very close to completing this game in its entirety. Thank you all very much for watching, and remember, never give up, never surrender. Goodbye.